okay? And then this melody, pull off and hammer on. And underneath of it, I'm just kind of strumming these strings from the A string up. So. That phrase repeats again. In Celtic tunes, we talk about the structure of them sometimes as uh, with letters of the alphabet. This tune has the structure A, A, B, B. So that was the A part. We played it twice, so that's A, A. Now we go to the B part. And we do a walk up to from D to G. And walk up is like, OK? And so we go. OK? In Dadgad, in general, uh, an easy G chord is this chord right here, which you have this finger on the sixth string, fifth fret, and another finger. You could use these two fingers. You could use these two fingers because we want fingers to play melody up here with. Makes a G chord, so we're going from D to G. And I'm playing the high strings while I'm doing that. So I'm going high strings while I walk up on the bass string. Now this chord is a G, it's a G sixth actually, and I'm using three fingers to play that melody on the three strings like one of the things we find that we can do in Dad Gad in Celtic music a lot is use open strings to make melody notes and that's what we're doing here. Now, this was G, this is F. Two frets down from G is F, like it is in standard tuning. So while we're holding that, we hold on to this. We play this melody. And then this is an A7 chord in Dad Gad. And that's the melody that goes with it. Back to G. Same as before. A7. And then back into A again, the A part again, and then twice, and then the B part twice. Now some em embellishments I'm doing on it are the next time I go through and play the melody, I add a little harmonic embellishment using a chime sound at the 12th fret, like this. I'm just laying my finger across the fret, not the space between, but the fret itself, and I'm not touching the fret at all. I'm just lightly touching the strings to make this chime sound. And if you, if you can't get a good sound with that, just keep working on it. It's, it's a real easy thing to do, and it's a useful technique on the guitar. Um, in all styles and all tunings, we use these. Okay. So the second time I play through the melody, I do this little embellishment. that. And then I play through the A part again. I play through the B part again twice, same, same as before. And then when I finish the song, I repeat the melody, the, in, the ending phrase of the melody twice to end the song. So it goes like this. And strum. So that's the detail of the Skyboat song. Now what we're going to do is make a split screen so you can see both the left hand and the right hand at the same time and follow along uh, in, within the book and in detail.